So what I've basically done here, this is the outback will be sort of carved away from here. I've marked up lines outside, this just gives me a reference, a good reference for where I want to sort of carve to. What I've got to do is line this neck up so it's absolutely straight with, with, with the centre line because you don't want your neck going off at this angle or this angle, obviously. And I've got to cut the slot out for the neck and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go, this is uh, two centimetre, the depth from the fretboard the, the, the depth from here to here is two centimetres so what I'm going to go there is about 2.3 centimetres, 2.5 centimetres then I can take this back because obviously this is all rough wood so and then I can take that back nice and flat and bring that down to sit it in to where, it, where I want it to be So what I've done here with this neck is I've marked the centre line on the back here and just so I can see it here and on the back here and what I'll do with that, with that is I'll clamp it up and meet it up with centre line here and here, put a clamp on it and draw around it so that that scans absolutely where I want it. So what I've done now, I've lined my neck up to my centre line, I've sanded this back so it's all even to the original pencil line so as you can see and I've marked on here that is uh, 2.3 millimeter uh, centimeters and my neck depth is 2 and that allows me sort of 3 millimeter to play with here to take back to, to finish this surface up around the area where I'm not going to be sanding it back and cutting it back right then what I've done now is I've marked my drill bits at 2.3 from there to there so now I can bore in up to there I might go a little bit shy of that because I've still got a couple of millimetres um, I'll be doing it with a drill press obviously not everybody's got a drill press I didn't have one until I found this in a second hand shop drill included 10 francs which is about 7 quid so you know what I mean it's, you don't have to have expensive stuff you could do it by hand if you haven't got these sorts of bits, these are sort of uh, for doing cabinet um, hinges and things like that, but in various different sizes. Just use biggest drill bits you've got, and you know you'll have to finish it off at bottom with a with a chisel. Now what I've done, I've drilled a like bit smaller one. You've got to go steady and slow because they do get hot and if you get too hot it'll ruin your drill bit for a start so really steady and slow I'm not going to bore you with all that but I'm going to drill this out now and sort of give you an idea what what, he does, what I've done after so what I've done I've basically gone through it with a uh, drill bit it's probably a better picture this is on camera because as I said I'm a bit worried about how this video <laughs> turns out now I've looked but um, so I've I've drilled up to my line look, or almost up to my line, almost down to my depth. And what rest I'll do, I've got to do bind with chisel. Uh, this is my line here, what I've got to work to, and obviously you can see this on the side. And that's just a bit of hand work.
So what I've got to do here is I've uh, chiselled it out and getting up to my line as near as I can. Obviously trying to keep it, make sure the neck's straight, sorry about the filming, one hand. And what I've got to do now is keep test fitting this. This back edge here, it doesn't really matter if that's pretty, but this left and right side do because you'll you'll see that. There are fixes and stuff what, what you can do, but what I'll do now is just keep test fitting it. I don't want it to go in. I don't want it to go in and split it, split the actual piece or anything, but that's pretty close. For size, I've obviously got it, got it, get it right down to the bottom and see from there. So that's in there, as you can see. Oop. And what I've got here, that's that gap underneath is my allowance. What I've done, what I've allowed for my top, for my sanding and stuff. Obviously, if I'd have cleaned top up first. I would have done gone to exact, but what I did is I laid it out and did all the work on actual centering it and everything. So another way to do it would have to clean top up first and then. But what I can do now, I've allowed myself for, to sink that in and do some sanding and everything on top. I can't do any shaping on this today, unfortunately, because what I'd have, I would have liked to. But what I need is um, a jack plug, so I've got to look where I'm going to mount that before I start cutting everything out and stuff. I'm going to put a, a face mounted on. I'm not putting any tonal volume control, I'm just hardwiring this straight up to a jack plug. I've done it before on a, a on another guitar and it it sounds great, you know what I mean? I, so I'm not really bothered about it. This is, like I said, this, this guitar's for me made from bits and pieces what I've found around. Um, so that's that for the minute. Right, so what I'm doing now is getting prepared to um, drill out for the pickup. Now I know this is a no-brainer, but as it's a second-hand pickup, what I'm using, I've just wired it up and checked that it's working before I drill it all for it. Always recommended. So what I'll do is on, I'll drill that out, and then I think that'll be me for the day on this. Right then, so this will be the end of it for today. I've cut the actual for the um, pick up that fits in there, that one goes over the top, centre it, I've got about 3 or 4 millimetres. Obviously, I'll tidy the edges up a little bit more when I do it, and they'll be probably a bit rounded in. Neck fits, I've got to look what I've got to do with this. Uh, what I'll probably do is just round it off here and just bring it in to here. This bit of binder that's missing. I'll, I'll, I'll paint this headstock, probably the edges, not the back, so I'll paint it in. Uh, with this, where this is missing, if I, I don't know that I'll sand it out or actually fill it with car body filler, because that's really good for doing stuff, and if, as it's going to be painted, you'll not see it at all. 